Hey guys, Max115 here bringing you guys another really late night episode of Boom Beach. Um, it is so late at night right now, I, I don't even want to tell you how late it is, but you can probably tell by my voice that <clears throat> it's I'm really tired already. Um, I am just, well I just finished playing pretty much, there's about 5 minutes left on my boost and I just want to share some of these replays with you guys because it has been a brutal night. Um, the bases I'm getting on my spawns are kind of mixed up. <clears throat> They're sort of like a mix between really easy bases and really, really difficult bases. And you can see how many times I have struggled with some of these bases here. Look how many failed attacks I've had on so many levels. Um, it has been a devastating night, really. But at least I have gotten some wins, which is why I wanted to share these with you. Starting with this first uh, Korean guy, uh, Seng Soon Ong Dobichi, whatever that means. I have no idea. I can read it. I don't know what it means. Uh, also, I know it is uh, Tank Mania right now in this weekend, and um, so TRM would have been my natural uh, choice. It's what I started the night with, but after losing like seven or nine times with TRM on the first base, I just switched to other troops because it was just not working out for me. Um, anyhow, this is the first base. I use um, RZCM. Well, that's loud. And. This was a, um, a nice easy base with only three ice statues, all three of them boosted, of course, with a uh, center base, shielded, and a shock blaster in the middle there. Um, look how he has that little uh, level 2 sniper tower in there, that's exactly what I want to do with my base, that's why you see that I still have that one building that I never built, it's the last sniper tower, and when I put it down, put it out, I kind of want to leave it at le uh, level 1, so... It'll look kind of cute like that. Um, anyhow, this base had just so little boost that I, I could just, you know, take the entire base, you know, head on with RZCM. And RZCM has worked out really well for me tonight. So anyhow, uh, just let the troops kind of spread out. He doesn't have a lot of damage because he only has the one defensive building damage. Masterpiece boosted, no guardians backing it up. So my, my troops actually lasted a really long time. And at first, I kind of thought maybe I'll just... Uh, go around the HQ on the left side and then try to take down the shield generator itself But midway through the raid I kind of realized oh, I'm doing so well that I'll just let my Zuka just you know wear down the entire shield if I can get enough shocks Which I did and you can see how I just threw that one shock on the rocket launcher shock blaster in there and then um, once the uh, Enough Zuka start focusing on the shield. It'll just start coming down very very quickly even though there were a few mortars and whatnot shooting at us, but there, I still had a fair amount of rifles in there that were not dying. So, you know, my medics were able to like, kind of heal them back up. And then the Zookas were just taking care of that uh, shield generator. Uh, once I got enough combo energy, put some critters, which worked magic for me. And I guess in the end, it kind of came a little bit close. I didn't have too many troops left, but, you know, the HQ did come down. It only took me one try, so I was happy about that. This was one of the easier bases of the night. Um, we'll get to some of the more difficult ones. So this one only had three eyes. Uh, so that was Sengsuon Dobichi, whatever that means. No clue. Um, next base, uh, I can't read this one. But again, I think this was a much tougher base. Yeah, double shielded, six eye statues, four of them boosted. Um, this one also took me only two tries. <laughs> um, lucky enough, but the, the tough bases will come in later. Um, this time, so I just took down the rocket launcher on the left side, and then I just finished off some of those mines in the front there because I wanted to smoke my troops right in between those two rocket launchers in the top there. So took down the sniper tower for a little bit of extra gunboat energy, and then just fled them right behind the sniper tower in the middle, and then just be careful and try to smoke as best as I could, even though they were kind of walking a little bit too scattered for my liking. But, you know, nothing you can do about that. Reverse smokes at the end, just to protect those medics. Um, uh, fortunately, I got the majority of my troops uh, got to the back there. So I was actually doing pretty okay. Just kind of timed it, put some critters, and then two shocks on the rocket launchers. So I could, you know, let my troops just kind of go at it, at it and destroy everything. Uh, you guys, if you notice those mortar shells just flying all over the place, those were going straight for those that first pack of critters. So... Putting critters right where I did at first was actually essential to the success of this raid. So just keep on throwing critters. I'm actually learning that with double shielded bases, critters actually work wonders for you guys. So just let the troops really, really spread out. Um, the good thing is that all the rocket launchers were already finished, so I didn't have to 
you know, worry about any of the mega splash damage other than the shot launchers and the mortars, but the mortars, if you have critters, mortars will actually take a long time to finish off the critters. So right there I had enough combo energy for more critters right on the HQ because there were no flamethrowers. So my critters were actually lasting a long time. And then all the medics kind of just parked themselves in front of those Zookas. So the mortars and the boom cannons started targeting my medics rather than my Zooka. So, you know, in the end I did get a little bit lucky. And, and you'll see why, because this really, really came down to the wire. The shield generator comes down. Uh, I think I lost the majority of my rifles. I only had a couple of rifles down here in the bottom, but there were like, you know, a good six or seven Zookas in the top there shooting. Thank God those three medics stood there because the what, the shock launcher started focusing on the medics. Look at them. Lost all of my uh, rifles. Only the Zookas were shooting and then all the uh, the two shock launchers and the one mortar kind of got fixated on the medics. So that was really lucky. But as soon as that last medic goes down, watch him go down right there. Boom, that last shell landed on my Zookas and he left me just with just one Zooka. So I got a little bit lucky there. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Um, six high statues, four boosted, and a little bit of luck, but he still went down, so thank God for that one. Um, who came next? Edwin Space, uh, someone we've defeated in the past, 1,477 victory points. He had five high statues, all five of them boosted. There's one more behind that little patch of trees in the back there. Again, center base, double shield, so I did a similar attack take down the one rocket launcher on the left side and then put my troops right in front of that sniper tower. The good thing is that I kind of visualized where I wanted to walk my troops and there were really no mines in along my the path that I had decided to walk. So look how my troops are walking right in between the mines which was great. There was one boom mine but I just kind of sucked it and walked, let my troops walk on it. Uh, losing one cryonier wasn't a big deal. Uh, reverse smokes at the end, protect those troops, let those medics kind of you know run to the front of the line try to heal those guys and then again time the critters and put two shocks uh oh one reflare first actually then critters and then the shock the first attack i think i failed it against him and it's because i did not reflare so when my troops when the smoke uh cleared uh, a lot of my zookas were standing at the edge of that uh, of the pack of troops there and then the one flamethrower kind of just burned them all alive, so that's why I had to reflect for the second attack. That was the only adjustment I made, and it made the whole difference. So, right now you can see the troops are really spreading out. The Zookas are doing a great job about clearing everything, and I'm just throwing critters and open critters right on the middle of that HQ to distract the mortars, boom cannons, and buying my troops a lot of time. Uh, you can see there's a huge amount of Zookas shooting at that HQ, and then we're uh, a small group of Zookas to finally finish down one of the shields so the group on the top just had to finish up the second shield on the top there just wear down that entire shield um, I don't think I had gunboat energy for anything else at this point you can see uh, I wasn't throwing anything at all uh, I think I maxed out my gunboat energy out of all the critters I could have thrown there uh, but anyways I still had a pretty decent amount of Zookas and a, a good group of troops down there still kind of you know keeping the second uh, shot launcher busy which was good because the one rocket launcher on the top was kind of getting me killed and then right there I threw a barrage and there was only one Zuka who finished off the HQ look at it shooting one more shot it didn't get it done and then the last shot finally got it done so super lucky once again mad lucky it, it, it did only take me two tries but you know what uh, as long like I always say as long as I win I'm really happy but Man, that could have been gone wrong in, in a split second, so I got a little bit lucky. Again, wow. Now, watching these in replays, back to back, now I realize how lucky I got tonight. Um, then after that, we got a couple of NPC bases, and then SNM. Uh, oh, this was an easy base, um, but it had no shield, two shock blasters, so I decided to go with Heavy Zuka because it kind of just makes sense. He did have minimal eyes, only two, two masterpieces. Both of them boosted, but that wasn't going to make a big difference anyway. So put down all the troops. I did clear the one-shot launcher behind the HQ. And um, it's the exact same attack strategy from when there was one shield and I just kind of smoked behind the HQ and let the, tr the Zookas kind of clear the defenses around the HQ and then, and then destroy the HQ itself. But since there was no shield, uh, this time it was actually really, really easy. So... You know, let them take down the one building in the front and then smoke them all the way to the corner behind the HQ. 
I don't know how many times I've said HQ already, like seven times for this one raid. You know, part of my, please excuse my shortage of uh, vocabulary. Uh, anyways, as soon as the first flood is about to run out, reflare and then go to straight to that boom, oh yeah, boom cannon right there. And then critters, medkit, shots on those flamethrowers because they would be deadly. As soon as those Zookas clear enough of the buildings, they would go straight for the HQ and you'll see the health of that thing come down really, really quickly. I mean, the raid was over before I even noticed it, really. Um, look at that. This HQ is already down and I had just put down that med kit. I mean, really, there was, this base was super, super easy, which was really great. That was two extra free victory points for me. Well, not free. I mean, I still worked for it, but it was, it was just not that difficult. After that, I got a ton of fails against these bases. And then one NPC, and then more fails, fail, fails. I mean, how many are there? About 20 fails. I mean, and, and they're real fails. Um, look, I went in with troops here, changing troops between uh, Skorka, or no, Skanks, they call them. Yeah, Skanks. I don't use them often. And then CRCM, and then just Gunboat Energy, and, and then Heavy Zooka. Nothing was getting the job done. But anyways, here we finally got this base. Uh, this base has seven eye statues. Masterpieces boosted, and this was... The exact same attack from before except this time it had a shield this one was pretty tough um, mainly because of the position of those rocket launchers it kind of got my zookas every single time uh, particularly this one up top here if it was a little further from the hq maybe it would have gotten it in, in less tries but anyways there's a reason why he put them in there anyway so put down the troops let them take out a couple of the buildings in the front to get extra gunboat energy and then smoke them right behind the hq uh, I tried smoking them to the uh, to the spot where that one shot launcher was, but um, that attack didn't work. So going behind the HQ was the one that worked best for me. So I just kind of kept on doing it over and over until I finally got it right. So right there, all the chills right behind the HQ, walking them very carefully. I think I only lost like two or three heavies on the way there. Reflare and then go to that machine gun, put some critters, and then shock around. Uh, those critters were placed right where I needed them to be. I mean, it took me a while to figure out where to put them down because at that spot, it, they would keep the shot launcher and the rocket launcher up there busy. So right there, just throw a med kit and more critters as I hope, it, I was hoping for it to kind of distract the shot, the rocket launcher, but it didn't, the flamethrower kind of got to all of them. Um, but anyhow, the shield finally came down. And at this point, I don't think I had enough gumbo energy for anything. I was just sitting there waiting keeping my fingers crossed and praying a little bit to see if I could get lucky and I finally did. This base took me many many tries but I finally got him down so imagine if he had all seven statues boosted it would have been impossible for me but anyhow lucky for me we finally got him. And then after that Nick's base kind of spawned. He was the last base to spawn tonight and it was a super easy base with only three ice statues no boost at all so we can probably go a little bit quicker. Uh, this was a very easy base. There were also one or two bases. I think two base, no, one base um, at the start of the night that had absolutely no ice. So those are the best ones, you know, bases with no ice where you can just kind of, you know, plow your way through the base without thinking and just winning easily. Um, anyhow, this base was actually pretty easy. So again, just like the first base in this video, I kind of just decided to go head on without giving it much of a thought and then especially because he had he his statues weren't even boosted so it was particularly easy and i just decided to just wear down the entire shield from the front just keep that shock blaster shocked and then just let my troops you know clear everything and finish out the hq so this was super easy thank you nick for those two extra victory points really made my night but the best win of the night was the last one right after nick's base this is um Jossa, which kind of stands for uh, left hand and he spawned, he has spawned on my base about four or five times overall. I always skip him because he's a 10, 10 ice statues. I mean, look at that, 10 ice statues, only the masterpieces boosts, but nonetheless, 10 statues is a lot of ice. So this time I finally decided to give it a try with RZCM and to my surprise, I actually managed to beat him. So I was really happy about it. Um, I did have to take down the two rocket launchers. I kept doing it with just one rocket launcher, but at the end of the raid, the remainder rocket launcher kept on killing all of my troops so this time i decided to just do it take both of them and then try to um see those mines in there i just kind of let my troops eat those mines i lost a whole bunch of troops in there but i couldn't afford an artillery sh shell 
um, to clear those mines, uh, especially not after taking out two rocket launchers. I didn't have enough gunboard energy for anything. So put some critters and a shock, and I had completely uh, depleted all of my GBE. I was waiting for my troops to kind of clear some base, uh, some buildings to get more. Um, I also did go in with three boats of Zookas and just one boat of Medic because I needed the extra firepower since he has so much ice in those buildings. So I just let my troops kind of split, spread out, not split. They did split. Um, there was a troop going, a group going in the front, one in the bottom, and one in the center there. But eventually they all did converge to the middle of the HQ. So I, did, I kept on throwing shocks and critters, tried to distract everything. Once the three rocket launchers went down, you know, things got much more manageable for me. So I could throw med kits and focus on, on the raid better because when you have one super boosted rocket launcher shooting at your troops, I mean, it's just deadly. Uh, one rocket launcher was making the entire difference. So this time, look at how many Zookas I've man I managed to get at the end of that HQ. All that was left was just one boom cannon, two mortars, and the one shot launcher, which I really didn't care for. I mean, I still had a ton of troops shooting at the HQ. The shields finally went down, and I still had a gazillion Zookas blasting at that HQ, and I finally bait him uh, left hand. I mean, it's been so difficult. I have skipped him so many times because I was always scared about, you know, trying to attack him. And, you know, this time we finally, finally got him. So that was the best win of the night. Um, and I guess we're just going to leave it at that. My boost has finally run out. I'm going to reboost my eye statues and then, you know, call it a night. We're sitting at 1,589 victory points. I would have really loved to end uh, 1,590. But anyways, can't always have what you want. So I also noticed that I moved to number three in the United States, which is pretty cool. I'm top three up, up there now. Um, although the next guy is about, you know, 90, about 40 points. Yeah, 41 victory points like above me just to get up to one space. And as far as global goes, I also moved up to number 21 in the global. So I'm, I'm really inching closer and closer into the top 20 in the world. Although the next two guys are in the 1600 victory points. So I still have probably take me about a week or two to get up there. But anyways, we're going to keep on pushing little by little every single day. Or at least I try to play every single day. I mean, with the holidays coming, the holidays that just passed and the ones that are just are coming, I don't know how much gameplay I'm going to be able to do. But anyways, we'll, I'll keep on trying my best and we'll keep on climbing, hopefully. So hopefully you guys enjoy the videos, guys. I am super tired. Please excuse my tone and my, my, kinda, my energy is kind of low right now because I am exhausted. But anyway, if you guys, uh, hopefully you guys like the video. Hopefully you guys learned a little bit of uh, RZCM at this level. I mean, things are really, really tough. And every single day it's kind of like this. But I'm glad I got some pretty good wins in there to share for, with you guys. All right, guys. So until then, I'm Max 15 guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.